second gate. And uh, this is a pretty good one. Of course, it does cost quite a bit. I mean, you won't get a telescope like that for less than £400 or so, and that one's even more. Mm. But please, don't go and spend your money on a smaller telescope. Rather than do that, go in for good binoculars. Right. And here we have a pair of binoculars. This, in fact, was a very powerful pair, perhaps a bit too powerful for the comet. Mm. But I would go for something like, oh, 7 by 50, which means a magnification of 7 and a 50 millimeter lens is, or any magnification up to 12, actually, is all right. And uh, that won't cost you more than, well, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. You might even get one for less. And it's far better to get good binoculars than a very small telescope, believe me. So for 40 pounds, you should be able to see the comet OK? No question at all. All right. Well, scientists the world over are taking advantage of this once-in-a-life opportunity to have a really close look. And no less than five probes are on their way to have a look now, including this. Now, this is actually a quarter-size representation of Giotto, which is the European Space Agency's probe. What is it, Patrick? Which bit's which? Well, this is the radio equipment. There are bumper shields behind there because as the probe goes into the comet, it's going to be pelted by solid bits and pieces, and we hope that shield will cope with it. Mind you, if Giotto hits a larger lump of material, then it's going to be destroyed, but we hope that won't happen because on the night of March the 13th, 14th, if all goes well, the probe will go right into the heart of Halley's Comet and, we hope, send back pictures of the icy nucleus, about which we know so little at the moment. And those pictures come through to the big radio telescope in Australia, they're assembled electronically at Darmstadt, at headquarters, straight away. Right. And that's where I'm going to be with the BBC Sky at Night team. And we hope to put those pictures of the inside of Halley's Comet on the television screen straight away. Well, that is a night to remember, Patrick. We're all indeed. looking forward to that. And I Thanks wonder what Giotto will find when it does reach Halley's Comet. Will it be a frozen world of ice and dust with great crevices and clouds of gas and vapour streaming out to form the comet's tail? Well, whatever Giotto finds, it will be a hostile world, totally unlike anything we've seen before. Mm, quite a detective story, that. If you're going to be on the lookout for, for Halley's Comet and you fancy some expert help, quite a lot of astronomical societies are going to be having Halley Comet observation nights to see if you can find one in the area that you live in. Well, back to Earth now and for a shorter journey.